most important thing. <laughs> Sound is important. Alright, ready? One, two, three. We are Ben and Jen Hodges, and we own Fiddler's Green Music Shop here in Lockhart, Texas. Ben was the employee of Fiddler's Green since it opened way back in 2008 in Austin. And then uh, he was the loyal shop manager for many years, and then we had the opportunity to buy the business from the owner in 2020. Originally, we were in Austin for 12 years, and then we were right across the street from here uh, for three years. The move to this shop, our most recent place, was actually really cool. We just had a bunch of friends help carry instruments and equipment across the street, kind of in the middle of the night, one night, and it was just kind of a big old party. So this is going to be our forever home now. It's a great old historic downtown building. Um, a lot of the instruments we sell and the music that we're interested in is old, so it really fits with that. When you go into like the bigger music stores, what we represent would be just like one little room in that store. And that was always the room that I would go to, you know, like the little acoustic room. And we offer a whole store of that. I met Ben actually at the location in Austin when I came in to buy a, a book about bluegrass guitar. And I was already playing in a country band at that time. We ended up just up in the same room lots of times just playing music together and just slowly were drawn to each other and started playing music together and then hanging out every day and here we are 13 years later. It's hard to know what came first. We both started with an interest in music but that's what led us together and that's what we're really excited about. So it's really fun to have a business that gets to center around the thing that we're really curious about and excited about which is yeah. bluegrass and acoustic music. And now we're in a band together called Alley Grass that is a five-person traditional bluegrass band. The music that we play goes hand in hand with the shop that we work in every day. One big challenge that we have is that we are a true mom and pop store. Jen and I are the only employees here and we have two small children. That becomes challenging because our lives are together both professionally and at home. Uh, there's, there's some overlap that can be challenging. The instrument business is not linear. It's not like we have the same sales every month. And so it's a gift that we get to work together and that this is our whole life and our whole income. But it also can be a little nerve wracking because we don't have other jobs outside of this one. I also think like going forward into the future, I just am looking forward to building more relationships. I feel like everyone who buys an instrument from us, we get to connect with them and we get to know a little bit about them and their story. Something that's really fun about this place is just getting to connect with people. Living here for the last eight years, we've definitely gotten to know most, a lot of people in the town, so. Seems like all of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm really genuinely interested in these things, instruments mm -hmm. and music and um, of course, I'm interested in my wife. I get to work with my wife. So that's, there's all of that. You know, there's been times that I've thought, you know, would I ever like to do anything else? And I spend some time daydreaming about that. And um, I don't really think there is. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy doing this. Mm -hmm.